हेलो फ्रेंड माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर संजय बियानी आई एम बेसिकली चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट आई एम इन एजुकेशन फ्रॉम लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स माई सब्जेक्ट इज फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स रिलेटेड विद फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट द फर्स्ट टर्म इज शेयर होल्डर्स फंड वट इज शेयर होल्डर्स फंड शेयर होल्डर फंड मीन्स फंड्स विच बिलोंग्स टू द शेयर होल्डर्स it means equity shares it means preference shares it means reserves and surplus shareholder fund can be explained in various terms like net worth owners fund equity but all the things are the same equity owners fund shareholders fund net worth all the terms are the same meaning so while you are calculating shareholder funds or owners fund or equity or net worth you have to club certain item you have to add equity shares plus preference shares plus reserves and surpluses second important terms is debt what is debt debt means outsiders fund funds related with outside world it includes debentures terms loan and public deposits so it's very simple owners for belong to the shareholders and debts belong to the outside world third term is reserves and surplus as you know reserves and surplus are the funds which is retained in the business it is in form of capital reserves and revenue reserves as far as other term is concerned which is often confusing in nature is a tangible and intangible assets tangible assets means assets which has physical existence like the sofa is a tangible assets this fridge is tangible assets this table is tangible assets but patent copyright goodwill it is intangible assets so all the assets all the properties may be categorized as a tangible and intangible assets but it's very simple if assets has some physical existence it is known as tangible assets and if assets is not in physical nature like goodwill patent copyright franchise fees trademark all are intangible assets often another terms which are confusing in nature is fictitious assets fictitious assets are those assets which is worthless which appears in balances due to some technical reasons debit balance or profit and loss account even patent and copyright having no negligible value or no value it is also known as fictitious assets so term sometime tangible and intangible assets if if worthless it may be treated as a, treated as a fictitious assets so fictitious assets are those assets which appear which are appearing in the balance sheet due to the technical reason because they have debit balance that's why they are shown in the balance sheet as a on in the asset side of the balance sheet but these are the assets which has no market value worthless another confusing term uh, while you dealing with the financial statement is provisions and reserves what is provisions and what is reserves often this is uh, commonly asked question so uh, it is very simple provisions means uh, means certain charge against profit certain charge against profit for non liability for non liability which which i know but the amount is not substantially accurate at the time of preparation of financial balance statement so provisions are non liabilities which up finally appeared after a certain period of time whereas reserves are surplus fund of the year which is appropriation of profits not charge against profit it is appropriation of profit 
सो रिजर्व इंडिकेट साउंड फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन ऑफ ए कंसर्न वेर एज ए प्रोविजन इज ए चार्ज अगेंस्ट प्रॉफिट एज द नेम इट सेल्फ इंडिकेट रिजर्व विल बी शॉन इन पी एंडल अप्रोप्रिएशन अकाउंट वेर एज प्रोविजन बिकॉज इट इज ए चार्ज अगेंस्ट प्रॉफिट इट विल शोन इन द प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट एज फार एज प्रेजेंटेशन इज कंसर्न provisions are presented in balance sheet under the head reserves and surpluses uh, provisions are shown in balance sheet by uh, deducting uh, with respective assets for example uh, fixed assets the depreciation which is provision in nature will be deducted from the fixed assets as far as uh, reserves is concerned it will be presented in reserved and surplus that is the liability side of the balance sheet further reserves uh, itself indicate sound financial position whereas provision appears just tentative liability of a concern so these are the some broad terms which are often confusing in nature so i hope you will understand all these assets very clearly thank you very much for listening me thank you very much thank you